Welcome to this video. Have you heard about the generic object source button in the SD transactions? Uh, maybe yes, maybe not. But if you have not yet have heard about this button, now I would like to show you how you can easily activate this button and use it within the SD transaction. So in the VA02, VA03, VA22 and so ever. But first of all, if we, for example, go into one SAP MM transaction like the ME23N to display purchase orders, here uh, within the SAP GUI in the top left corner, there you have such a button. So if you click there uh, or hover over it, then you get the, the quick info, the tooltip services for object. If you click within the left area, then you get some buttons, some functions to, uh, to create um, a document, to yeah, attach, to, to see the attachment list to add a private node, to send object with a node, to display the relationships, the workflow and so on. So there are a lot of buttons. If you would like to get also the description or some kind of title, then you can click on the drop down here on the right and then you can have the titled version. So in my or in most cases, I use those because then I directly see what the functionality is about. And the generic object services is very useful if you would like to use functions based on one object. Here we are in the purchase order and then if you would like to do some functions based on the purchase order then you're using the generic object service. Like for example if you would like to save a business document, if you would like to attach a PDF file, whatever, then you can do it within here. And if you, for example, open the VA02 transaction, so to basically change a sales document, hit the enter key, then here right now we can't see any generic object service button. And that's the case because um, you just have to um, maintain one profile parameter, but one from the SAP release for dot 70 SAP itself has removed by default the generic object service button um, because of some performance reasons and if you would like to activate it then you have to open up the SU3 transaction to go into the maintained user profile transaction then go to parameters and then in my case I have added already the parameter and that's S D underscore S W U underscore active. And if you would like to display the generic object service button within the VA02, VA03, VA22, and so ever, you just simply have to enter an X as the parameter value, hit the enter key, and then save it. And then once again, have a closer look into the VA02 transaction. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then now here you have the generic object service button available. And you can use those within here as well. And if you would like to get more information, then within this SAP note, I will put the link into the video description. Here you will see the detailed information, what is about what I have shown you, that you have to maintain this parameter. If you, for example, would like to um, also use the generic object service button within the VA1 transactions, then you have to use this parameter. But basically, that's how you can use the GOS button within the SAP SD transaction. It's so easy. If you like to, you can maintain it. Please like this video. Please put any comment if you have any questions left. And please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much. And then see you in the next video.